All right, guys, it's kind of late. Well, not really late, but dark outside, so I decided to just connect up the sensors. I'm gonna completely install the ECU tomorrow. Um, there goes the Diedrich Motorsports um, MS3 plug and play wire harness to the computer. Um, that's the factory ECU, you see it just connects in. Um, the other parts on the outside, I'm going to check it. Just got it to um, Prime, trying to follow these instructions. Um, it detected the ECU, so I'm trying to do right now. Um, Moses and trees. Let's try yeah. hitting test port. Yeah. Successful. Cool. Cool. Yeah. All right. And next. Additional. Okay. Default. Okay. Projects loading up. There we go. All right, everything's set for the most part. Um, next it says to um, save it. So, I'm gonna save that. Save as. All right, so this is just a copy of the base tune that he sent. Um, so now it's time to calibrate the TPS which I shall move over. Here's the other part I was telling you about, the GM map, uh, intake air temp and then the map sensor. I just hooked it up for now because, like I said, just trying to test the ECU. Okay, we're back. Um, reasons why you get a removable steering wheel. Very useful. Um, okay. See, it says calibrate TPS, um, click current, get closed. Okay, it's already at one, but I'll still do it anyways. Okay, that should be about it. Um, step on the gas pedal all the way, and click get current for full throttle. Okay, as you can see, the throttle goes up. So that's full throttle right there. Get current. So that's our value. Um, after that, it says it's accept. So, you see, now we go from zero to 100% throttle. Um, next thing, quick tools. Unslash lock calibration. Uh, right, tools. Okay, so this is the last step for this. Uh, I'm saying save it again. So let's do that. The MS. Basically, this is being done so I have two backup files of um, the original settings that he set up for the car. And so I have something to go back to just in case something gives me an issue. So, yep, that's working. Um, that is the last step. So I should be able to actually crank the car right now. Uh, everything else seems good. So, let's attempt to do that now. Mm. Oh no, God!
No, God, please, no, 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 no! All right, let's see what's going on. All right, so got the car to start up. Um, doesn't really want to idle, so I guess that's where he was talking about. Um, I'd have to figure things out. Um, don't really want to run it because I don't have the air and fuel ratio, but it starts and cranks. But if I let my foot off the gas, then it shuts right off. So um, I got to figure that out and I will get back to you guys but for the most part it starts up and runs alright so managed to get it idling decently um, need to do a little bit more work a little bit more research just wanted to see if I could get the car to idle it alone which seems like it works got it to start up So I got so far um, when I first got it it would start up I'd have to keep my foot on the gas um, to keep it idling figured out that I can mess with the idle duty cycles for the idle air control valve and I got it to start up somewhat okay and um, idle all right lights on not too too bad um, I think I'm kind of getting um, the understanding of this part itself. I still need to install the wideband so I can um, tune for everything else. But right now I'm just starting on and off, seeing what I can get out of it. Um, this seems alright. It will idle so I can, for the most part, work with this for now.